managing your files in Google Spaces. Recently, we discussed getting started in Google Chat with Spaces. Today, let's take a little closer look at file sharing, storage, and management within your new Google Space. First up, let's look at the ways that we can add a file into your Google Space. In the reply box at the bottom of the conversation, use the upload icon on the right hand side to select a document from your computer. Highlight the file and click open. You can see here I'm actually uploading a Word document. Spaces can support many file types. One can also simply drag and drop your file from your desktop. Clicking on the uploaded file affords the user a preview of the file with download and print options. There are a list of blocked file types, including the likes of executable files. In the main, these are blocked because they are potentially harmful or virus spreading files. To find a full list of these, check out Google's chat support website. Here they are regularly updated to keep up with new malicious software. Files can be directly attached to a chat message up to 200 megabytes. Larger files will need to be uploaded to Google Drive and sent as a drive attachment. From the left hand side of the reply box, click the plus button and access the Google Drive menu. Select Attach Drive File to open the attachment pop up. This gives us access to the files in your My Drive, Shared With Me, or Shared Drives. Users with Drive for Desktop can access some computer files also. In addition, find your files using the search box, the Recent or the Start tabs, or Upload Files from your computer, which will add the file to the chat and additionally add it to My Drive in one upload. Google will review the document you are sharing for permissions. Here, the file's permissions don't cover all the members of this space. You have the opportunity now to add permissions for all the space members. This will appear in your file share box with the space name and associated image provided that you are a member of that space. If a space member already has permissions for the document at a higher level than the permission you are adding, that permission will not be affected. You can of course choose not to share with the space and members can request permission on an individual basis. If you have added editor files or drive hosted Microsoft files, your user will be able to interact with the document in side by side view. A user with comment only access to a Word document can quickly access and make suggested edits. A user with full editing permissions can edit or share the document in side by side view. As you can see, the document will have limited functionality to access menus, version history, or comment functionality, but the user can pop out the document into a new tab from the right hand side. Create a brand new document from the space window. As before, on the left hand side of the reply box, click the plus button and access the Google Drive menu. This time, choose which type of file you would like to create. The document will now be created in your My Drive and all space members, current members and those added in the future will receive editor permissions. Title the document and click share. The document will post in chat and open immediately in side by side view for you to start editing. A number of files interspersed in chat is no use to anyone. Luckily, Google Chat arranges the added files in a central inventory accessible from the Files tab. In the Files tab, you can quickly view files arranged in a newest to oldest descending order. Files can be added directly into the inventory from the Add File button, and the pop-up is the same as we saw in the chat window. Organize your files within Drive without leaving the space by using the icons to the right of the file. 
The Add to Drive icon will be visible on files that are not already added to Google Drive. Use this to add a shortcut for the file into your drive and from there organize it. Files with the Move icon displayed are stored in the drive. Click the icon to organize the file into the correct shared file or within My Drive. Perhaps you are reviewing a file and need to understand the context around the inclusion of the file in the space. Click the chat bubble to open the chat tab at the location of the message in which the file was added. Perhaps you wish to find a file but you cannot locate it in your spaces. Use your search function to surface it. Keyword search the document. Then engage the messages widget to point the search function at your chat spaces records. You will then open a full widget palette to narrow down your file search. The said in widget can help you narrow down to either an individual or group chat or a space. Apply a date range or specify the file type that you're looking for. Add multiple file types to throw your net wider. Also, search by link, by user, or for file shares where you have been at mentioned. You'll notice we are undertaking this search in the Gmail application. The integrated Gmail interface allows for this search. We can conduct this in the Spaces tab. We can search specifically within this space by using the magnifying glass in the top right hand side of the space. What happens if a file is binned? If a user bins a file, there is a 30 day recovery window. In that window of time, space users will still be able to access and recover a file. However, if the file has been permanently deleted or the 30 days are up, the file will appear in the file list in spaces, but the user will see a deleted message when they click on it. Files can be removed from the space without deleting from a drive. Here in the file inventory, there is no option to delete or remove a file link. Use the chat icon to hop to the file's chat message and from the hot dog menu, select to delete. This will delete the message, any threaded replies attached to the message and remove the file link from the files tab. The original document, if stored in Drive, is unaffected. You have simply removed the link. Now you've seen all the different ways to add, find and remove your files from a project or team space. Let us know how you're using your spaces and share your tips with us. Next time we look at spaces, we're going to review spaces integration across the Google Workspace. So keep your eyes peeled for that installment. See you again soon.